friend thinks you're really cute, but she's just shy. And I just, is it okay if she comes over here? Yeah, where's she at? Come here. She's coming. Is she nice looking? Yeah, and she thinks you're really, she's really attracted to you. Hi. Uh, hold up. Oh, hey. How are you? Hey. Oh. Hi. You really that tall? Hold on, let me stand up. You gotta climb the ladder. Oh, yes. let me get a hug. <laughs> Oh, isn't this shit? It ain't the shoes either. No, I don't. Yeah. Where are you from? Um, from Los Angeles. What part? Orange County. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, can I have your number? Yeah. <laughs> Where are your phone? Is it your mind or yours? Um, I can give you my number. Oh, oh what I mean that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You play basketball? Yeah. Oh, I don't. I'm calling myself. Okay. Right, Fill up. Uh, she actually don't like you. You want to pranks you? Uh, the nah, don't do him like that. Plus, he's pretty tall himself and appears to be about 6'5". Next, we got a situation where a boyfriend didn't want his girlfriend to go traveling and she still wanted to do it anyways. Look, well, I'm going next week. Yeah, I get that, but why did you have to book such an impromptu flight so far away? I want to travel. You knew that I like to go travelling. Fine, fine. Go travelling, go find some guy whilst you're out there. I don't give a sh** anymore. I'm going next week. Yeah, I get that, but why did you have to book such an impromptu flight so far away? I want to travel. Yeah, you always say you want to travel, but why don't you want to travel more locally or something that we can go on together? Travel more locally? I've travelled locally. I want to travel, you know, yeah. the whole world. No, with me. Like, I you not seen here. Why don't you, you can be like guides and stuff. We could have like an adventure together. It doesn't always have to be so far away. Yeah, but I want to travel the world and I've asked you to come with me. And you said no. Um, because I don't have the money to go to places like Peru, okay? I'm sorry I don't earn that much, alright? What, what is your problem? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Look, I can't, I can't Why keep having there? this argument with you. You knew that I like to go travelling. Fine, fine. Go travelling. Go find some guy while she's out there. Well, that situation comes down to what she values more, her relationship with him or a solo trip. But whatever she decides to do is going to have some consequences. Now brace yourselves for the standard in this next one. So what's cheap to you? Cheap is going to Applebee's. <laughs> cheap is going to Applebee's. Like, I don't do chain restaurants. Like, I... If just, I like restaurants that doesn't, you don't, you never heard of the name. Or if you did heard of the name, it's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So if a guy wanted to take you on a date to Applebee's, you would say no? No. What is that? I, mean, I don't even take my kids to Applebee's. <laughs> okay. You know, there, there was this whole conversation about the Cheesecake Factory. Could he bring you to the Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> He, he can get me a piece of cheesecake to go for a doggy bag, but not to take oh. me there, no. Okay, so what kind of restaurant should the man be willing to take you that you will accept? Um, like five-star restaurants, like, like stuff that you just never heard about, no chain restaurants. So like this the is the stars. first date? Yes. Something right. Just because your date first takes her to Applebee's doesn't mean that they could still go later on. Plus, having someone buy you a fancy dinner is earned and not given. Now, I'm pretty curious as to your interpretation of what her response in this next one is. Did you get married for love or for money? Both. <laughs> so I've been married for 11 years. You have? Yeah. How old are you? 34. You're 34? <laughs> yeah. I never would have guessed that. Uh, I think a balance, but I think the most important factor is respect. What do you mean by that? I got Little, you. I got you. To have something Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. And also, always, baby, I'm ready for real you. quick, Nate. When you when mm. you speaking and not cut you off from the host, you gotta stop talking. We're not gonna go on these long. I'm not rants. gonna stop talking because you're the host. Because okay. when you speak, I'm out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Mm -hmm. If you're not Nothing gonna respect, it's very simple, Nate. If you're that not going leaving. to, so we're going to stay here. We're going to pay for the paper. I'm going to pay for the paper. That's what you think. You these, are the yeah. two. these are the rules of the pocket. So only the host could cheat when you want us Listen, to talk. Listen, you're still speaking over okay. me. Okay, I'm just asking. When I'm speaking, clarification. and you're going on these long rants, I am. already understand. Because you want to cut me off when you don't like Wait, what you hear. Wait, time out. you still speaking while I'm speaking. I am. Got it. Slow it down. All right. Right? So uh, when I'm speaking, mm -hmm. stop speaking. 
Mm-hmm. If right, you so continue, speak, you stop speaking. That is it. That is how it goes. That's how it goes on my boat. Okay. When, well, I, when I signed up to come here, got it. and if I signed that, up for me to be on this video, cool. that's hey, what I listen. signed up. It is his show, and she should respect that. Just like if she had her own show and had him on it. And let's continue. And it I watch like a lot of your podcast. I'm just right saying, now. I'm not very emotional at all. You don't see yeah. this here. I mean, well, she my lashes are being emotional. I got you, good baby, and I'm mad. I got you. So, uh, y'all got my veneer. See, immature. Now, here's how it's gonna go. <laughs> I got you. Here, here's how it's gonna go. Right when I'm speaking, I got shut up. Here. I got That's totally here. fine. All right, when, when I'm, I'm speaking, speaking the same, the same, the same. Got shut it, up. Got it. You're, you just submitted that. Don't invite nobody your on your man, podcast. You, you just submitted that them. your man. That man, that your father is that man. No, he is that man. No, he, he is, your man is that man. man. You just submit that. Care of, I don't have to you just submit that. To go totally with fine. We, we actually like going to end this. You, you up out of here. It's time for you to go. I ain't going nowhere. Not to the rules. <laughs> All the people. Steve, you can go ahead and do what you do best. Do what you do best. I call the people. Yes. Call, call the boys. Yeah, call the boys. You don't want to leave. It's time for you to go. Whatever clips you want. I mean, no, we live. We live. Call the <laughs> I don't care. Go ahead, Steve. Let's, and we're going to whoop out of here the same way. We've had this before. We've had to go to concert for Great on him for staying calm in that situation. Plus, there are so many guests that would be so happy just to be on his show. I divorced my high school sweetheart after five years of marriage and four babies. And I recently started dating. And let me tell you something that I've noticed we do. Myself and several of my friends have gotten out of either marriages or long-term relationships. And I've noticed something that we start dating and we meet someone and they're doing the bare minimum and we think it's ever. This is another narrative that's just getting old. Like how the f*** does it take you five years and you still decided to pop out four children with him? Like, make that make sense. Like, is it one of those situations where you think that a baby is going to make the relationship better? But then what gets me is you literally tell on yourselves because then you say you have a bunch of friends that are going through the same thing or have been through the same thing. And what do you think that is? Y'all are in each other's ears talking about how miserable y'all are. One person will say, oh, my husband's manipulative. So what does that do? You start to think, oh, maybe my husband is manipulative too. So you start seeing him as a liar, a cheater, doesn't tell the truth, is a horrible person because all of your friends are also in your ear. It's very likely that he tried to assert some sort of boundaries and she simply refused. And also they say misery loves company. Now this next guy is broadcasting the fact that he's got options. Junior doesn't look upset that Sarah said I'm out. Is she yeah. so mad? No, Sarah's mine. Here's the thing, man. I think this world is, is, is like... <laughs> The biggest unsolved mystery for me dating in my 50s is why are there so many financially broke men in their 50s? I'm not just talking like they've had a hard month at work. I'm talking years, decades of not budgeting, not saving for retirement, cars repoed, bankruptcies, behind in child support, can't afford health insurance, a history of losing jobs. What is going on? This is at the very top of my dating deal breakers. Through hard lessons learned, I refuse to date a man I have to financially. Huh? While getting a divorce can really mess up the financial situation of a guy in his 50s. And if he's already a parent, it's even tougher. Now this next husband obviously cares about his wife and she appears to not appreciate it. I'm on a girl's trip and my husband calls me every hour. Uh, yeah, I let the dog out. That's good, baby. Yeah, uh, had to leave peed and poop. Oh, that's good, baby. Talk to you in a little bit. Okay, love you. Okay, bye, baby. These times again. Hey, I'm ordering dinner. That's good, baby. Every time. Just keep amping him. That's good, baby. Leave me alone, baby. My disappointment is immeasurable. If you are dating a man with a beard before you get married, I'm talking about within the first maybe six months of dating, right? Make sure he shaves it off. 
he can grow back. He can grow back. I'm not even trying to say he'll shift off forever, but you need to see what he looks like without that beard. Because one day, God forbid, you're married and you've never seen him without a beard. And he decides, well, you know what? I'm done with this beard. Shaves it off. Then a stranger walks in the room. A stranger. You're breaking down because you don't know who that is. Your child is crying because she doesn't even recognize Dada. And the whole family structure just falling apart. They look so different without their beards. So you know what? I know it's like shaving your head. You really don't have to shave your beard. I just want to see what it's looking like. Y'all seen that one Grey's Anatomy episode or whatever where he shaved his beard off and there was any little, 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 little symbols on there. So let me see what you're looking like. Well, how about she finds a picture of him before he had that beard? And you can make a rather similar argument about makeup too. I really hope you enjoyed these ones today and don't forget to like, subscribe, and become a channel member today through the links in the video description and I'll see you in the next one.